Hey everybody, I'm Lance and this is the single leg offset loaded ipsilateral deadlift. Okay, single leg deadlift with an ipsilateral load, a load on the same side as the leg that's working. Okay, that's what all that means. Anyways, if I'm gonna line up on this, I know this isn't a kettlebell or a dumbbell. Dumbbell is probably too low, by the way. I would usually use a kettlebell. Um, the stool height is actually pretty good for me. <laughs> um, but I know the balance point is a little bit here. So I'm gonna line the front of my ankle up with that balance point, because that's where I'm gonna grab, right? And that'll keep me from shifting my weight too much. Now to do the single leg deadlift, I have to first find my balance on one leg, and then I have to do an RDL to get halfway down, and then to get, or well, more than halfway down, and then to get the rest of the way, I just need to bend my knee a little bit more. Try to make sure I'm still holding, I gotta hold these glasses. Try to make sure I'm still holding some hamstring tone and some glute tone, and that's what's gonna help me then initiate the push by pushing my feet through the ground and then bring my hips forward to stand up. Okay, so it's just like a deadlift, except you've got one weight and you're on one foot. The ipsilateral load allows me to extra load that side for one because the weight is over on that side, but it also allows me to do it without having to shift my hip quite as far over. So if I'm limited in hip mobility, like I am, I do this on the left side because I don't have as much hip mobility here. Um, and it allows me to still get a single leg training effect without you know, the uncomfortable pinch that I might feel otherwise. If you're having trouble with a contralateral variation, the ipsilateral variation might be the key to what you need.